Left Bank Books is basically a full-line, independently-owned bookstore and serving the metro area of St. Louis and beyond, really. And I would also say that we're kind of a literary, cultural uh, destination spot. We are left of center in terms of politics and try to be creative in terms of the sort of selection that we have to um, help people think. I sort of think of it as a secular church. It's built on the idea that we have the freedom of information and uh, free flow of ideas and I think that's essential for a community because otherwise you're just a group of people living near each other. Left Bank Books originally started in 1969 and it was a group of graduate students from Washington University. These students who were very um, socially aware borrowed $500 and got donations of $500 worth of used books. are part of the cultural business. We have hosted things anywhere from uh, President Jimmy Carter to um, really insane events with folks like Chuck Palahniuk who has a cult following. For the size and the location of the city, I mean, we're, um, they could, uh, publishers could easily send their authors and all of their resources to Chicago and ignore St. Louis, but I think we've done a pretty good job of saying, yeah, we like this too, and we're literate, and we want this, well, there's a demand for it here. There's something really important about a place that, that has access to information. Uh, bookstores really, even though who knows what may happen to the actual book, there's still some beautiful thing about a bookstore. The whole sense of community here has been very important to our success. And um, Craig Heller, who's the developer downtown who started the City Grocery, uh, wanted to try to create that sense of community downtown. But we could never afford to do it. In this case, we didn't have to afford to do it. <laughs> because Craig really Really, I mean, he really understood how this could benefit him and the community, which he has a huge investment in. He stepped right into the breach and uh, offered us a deal we couldn't refuse. We sort of see ourselves as a very important piece of the whole cultural pie in St. Louis. And, you know, you've got, we have like a world-class symphony, we have amazing theater, we have galleries, um, museums, and, you know, another piece, an important piece in any cultural uh, life of a, in the cultural life of a city would be the literary arts, a really important piece. And you can't do that only with uh, libraries, although we must have our libraries and they must be funded and supported. Uh, you you need a bookstore and you need a good bookstore that's you know organic and part of its community and responsive to it. We're just at this in this time where we're trying to define ourselves, redefine ourselves for the future of the bookstore. How does one deal with such rapid changes in retailing and in in shopping. Online is more important now, and we do offer online sales. A lot of people say, I'd love to work in a bookstore. <laughs> and that is less and less possible, so it makes what we do more and more wonderful. I get to do something that not very many people get to do. And you, know, you always think, oh, when I retire, I'm going to own a bookstore, and it's going to be this quaint little thing that's going to be sleepy, and everybody's going to love it, and then, you know, it's going to be this really easy thing to do, and it's the hardest, hardest, hardest thing I have ever done. I These are really challenging times, and we're fighting really hard, and um, we've got a lot of people, you know, rooting for us, so 
mainly my hopes are that we can stay, that, that uh, St. Louis will still have, you know, a vital literary uh, resource in the community and, um, you know, maybe, I'm kind of hoping vacation at some point, but <laughs>